In case you're wondering what a Japanese burger looks like. Hmm? Hmm? Definitely got some veggies in there. Good morning, Japan. I'm just going for my first walk uh, since I'm free here now. And uh, I'm going to go check out a little pocket of town where I used to go many years ago. They had lots of cool shops, a really fun coffee shop, and they used to have a nice bakery that was one of the only places open in the morning. This looks new. Fun house dining. Sounds like a fun time. I think years ago we actually bought a crepe from here. I, I think that's the, what it is. I guess that means ramen. Memorize those characters. So I've made it. Umega Oka, the alleyway that I used to love. Now everything is closed as I imagined, but let's go see my favorite shops, what they look like when they're closed, and I'll tell you a little bit about them. Now this here is interesting. In Japan you'll see a lot of signs that say close, not closed with the D there. So this shop got it right. So we've reached the first shop, Kalti Coffee. Now this place I used to love coming. They used to have samples when you walk in the door with free coffee and they had a lot of like um, nice treats in there and just like um, healthy snacks too. So I'd usually find a lot of things that I could mostly have a harder time finding uh, from Canada that are in Japan, like peanut butter and oatmeal and stuff like that. But uh, it's a great shop that we'll be exploring more in the future videos. F and F. Um, Guess what that stands for? Food and something. But this place is like a really cool organic shop that you can find a lot of healthy vegetables, prepared meals, and um, steamed greatness. There's lots of really cool teas and all that other kind of stuff. So we're definitely gonna be coming back here when they're actually open and exploring some fun organic Japanese foods. Once again, F and F, great place, very fun. They have a delivery system now it looks like. If I'm lucky, I can still find out where this little bakery is and they have this sweet potato bread. So, so good. Now I'm gonna go bring it home to make coffee at home as I can't get it here, <laughs> apparently, but if they're open, at least. But um, if not, I'll at least show you where it is. And um, anyways, let's go see if we can get that sweet potato bread. Well, I found it. Pain de Lassa, if I'm saying that right. Uh, sounds like a French word, but yeah, there's the bakery there. The lights are on, people are coming in and out, so I'm gonna go see if they still have that sweet potato bread after so many years. Okay, I just gotta say, I haven't even entered the doors yet and it smells so good. You definitely need actual cash in Japan as they don't really take credit card a lot of places, so here is the equivalent to $10 in Japanese. All right, so unfortunately they didn't have my sweet potato bread that I was looking for, but they did have a lot of other interesting looking things like uh, breads and all that other stuff, but I wasn't quite sure what anything was. It all smelled great, but I'm gonna just um, try something here. I'm gonna go look for a convenience store and see if I can find a Yakimo, because I was in the mood for some sweet potato at least, so maybe I can get that. There's also a grocery store around the corner that used to sell it, but again, that's a bit later in the day. But let's go see if I can at least come home with a Yakimo. Since when? Until when? Just got out of the 7-Eleven. Unfortunately, no Yakimo. Now, I remember years ago I did pick some up there, so I'm gonna start heading back home empty-handed, unfortunately. Maybe I'll find something else on the way home. Look at that! I found the Yakimo cart thingy, but um, it's all empty right now. I guess they need to start roasting it, but basically you have these coals here. Oh, I can still smell the residue of the potatoes. Later in the afternoon, I'll be able to pick one up. Oh my! To come and explore these shops when they're actually open with me in the future and other interesting shops in Japan, make sure to subscribe and we'll go and enjoy some more tasty foods. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Well, I guess you can always just get canned coffee if you really need it. <laughs> Vending machines are always open.